You know, I gotta say, I was genuinely surprised by this film. I went into it with, like, I wouldn't say low expectations, but, like, no expectations. Like, I knew nothing about it. I was, I've, I've heard nothing about it. I've just kind of been like, all right, I, this is a movie coming up and watching. We'll see how it goes. It is two hours and, like, 20 minutes long. Um, but holy crap, this film is so good. I can't wait to talk about Bridge of Spies. Bridge of Spies was released in 2015. It was written by Matt Charman and Ethan Cohen and Joel Cohen, and directed, of course, by Steven Spielberg. No spoilers, but the general idea is that it's set during like, the Cold War, and there are spies from the Russia Army and spies from the U.S. Army trying to get intelligence on each other. Tom Hanks plays a lawyer who is, you know, enlisted, I guess, to... It's a hard word because he's not... He doesn't volunteer, but he's told he has to, basically. Um, you know client this this russian spy and just guide him to prison so that they can kill him uh, but he has to look like he's doing a good job but then tom hanks discovers he doesn't hate the guy he kind of likes him he seems like a good guy he has a family and he tries to help him and that's pretty much the whole first half of the film the second half of the film has him going to um russia i think it's moscow i think maybe it's it berlin he goes to berlin um and he goes to berlin to discuss transferring um different spies because they have a russian spy and they happen to have one u.s spy and a yale student and he says i will give you this one spy for these two spy or this one spy and this innocent person um and that'll be our deal so that way nobody dies and no one gives any more information um and uh i was really shocked at how much i like this film from the very beginning um mark rylance is that his name uh Yes. Holy crap, what a performance. Um, Mark Rylance is incredible. I think he won an Oscar for this, and, and good for him, because it's, it's incredible. Um, he does such a good job of just selling this heartfelt character. Like, obviously, you know, he's bad. He's a Russian spy. Um, you know that from the beginning. But, like, you like him. Like, he's a nice character. He's enjoyable, and he's just he's very palatable. And I appreciate that they didn't just, like make him the bad guy. They actually took the time to say, hey, listen, you know, he is a Russian spy, yes, but also not a bad person. Um, so I liked that they took that time to do that. And Tom Hanks, of course, another brilliant performance from Tom Hanks. I really like Tom Hanks. I need to watch more of his stuff. But I, I, I liked the dynamic between the two a lot. And that's, that's, that's the first half of the movie, really, is just him talking to Mark Rylance. And it's really, really well done. It's well paced, too. There's a lot of action that isn't really, like, action like there's this moment where um they shoot up the lawyer's house and i'm like freaking out i'm like oh my god is somebody gonna die uh, and it's not really like an action sequence more so that it's just like a dramatic moment that i really liked and I, it happens periodically throughout the film where there's just like this moment of intense violence almost like there's this be beautiful shot uh, at the berlin wall he's on a train tom hanks is on a train driving towards the you know around the wall and he sees some people trying to escape over the wall, and they get shot down, and it's beautiful. Like, I mean, it's awful, but, like, just, like, the then showing the reaction shot of Tom Hanks, showing the, sh the, 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 the violence, then showing the reaction shot of Tom Hanks. Well done, Spielberg. You got me. Well done. I cried. And then at the end, he brings it back in this really awesome parallel kind of way, and it blew my mind. Oh, my goodness. Um... It's just, it's all really well done, it's well written, it's well, very well directed, brilliantly acted, and it's just such a good movie. Like, it's one that I want to watch again very soon. Like, I'm going to buy this so I can watch it soon. It's that good. Um, I really wish I had seen this earlier. I wish I had the chance to see this in the theaters, but alas, I did not. Um, I, I adore this film. I think it might be my favorite Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, it's that good. I like this movie so much. I'm going to go ahead and give Bridge of Spies an A+. Have you guys seen Bridge of Spies? Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about it. I think it's completely underrated. I think it's a brilliant film. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about it. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do. I rented it on Redbox, so you can find it there. Um, I 100% recommend you do, because it is that level of good. Like, I really, really, really like this film a lot. So, Please consider checking it out if you have not. And please consider subscribing if you haven't. It helps me out a whole lot. Keeps the channel going. So I would truly appreciate it if you considered hitting that red button at the bottom of the screen. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.